Hey, good morning. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Early spring. Uh, we're waiting for our ground to dry out so that we can do uh, garages. Uh, I think the first one we'll be starting is in another couple of weeks. This is just a small project. We're going to do uh, clapboard siding over their T111. <clears throat> Change out the windows. Uh, just pretty it up for them. They've been doing a lot of work around the house. Uh, so it should be a fun project. There's, there's just something about animal instincts when it comes to tearing stuff apart. It gets kind of fun. It's just fun to do it. These windows are screwed in and our screw guns are back in the shop. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. And off come the clapboards. I think I got paid by the nail. There's a lot of nails in these. So as much as I can, I try to set up the, the layout so that everything is efficient for fewer steps. Sometimes we don't always hit the mark. I try to get them all here, the clapboards, lined up so that we can uh, pull them right onto the saw and cut. We'll see how that goes. We're all trimmed out. We have the corner boards on, the two windows on, and we're ready to go. Well, here, while I'm here, I just wanted to point out uh, this job is around $5,000 to side a 16 by 24 garage um, with spruce primed clapboards. Uh, everything is primed both sides so that uh, you don't get as warping. Uh, if you don't prime the back side, it tends to, you tend to get that. But a general rule of thumb, if you take uh, whatever the materials might cost for a job, could double it again for what the what a contractor might charge just to give you a ballpark idea um, it varies depends on um, if there's a lot of more detail work that would slow you down um, but this this is pretty straightforward uh, getting all new windows and doors so that includes the windows and doors as well uh, just thought that might be interesting day one now we've got some help. We've got Maya, Lauren, along with Chad. <laughs> <laughs> 